Hey YouTubers, this is Ben again with True Cable, and today we're going to talk about an extremely important subject when it comes to fiber optics, and that is cleaning of fiber optic cables. Bar none, it is probably one of the most important things. So let's get into it. As mentioned, we're going to talk about the importance of cleaning the fiber optic cables. Now, we've got various different uh, ways to kind of do this. Throughout the years of fiber optic products, uh, there's been various different solutions and, and ways to do this. But one of the key ways that we have now, and True Cable offers these, is click cleaners. We have various different types of click cleaners in order to clean our fiber optic cables. We have the LC MBU click cleaner which is this guy right here. We've got the MTP click cleaner, which is this guy right here for the MTP MPO connectors. And then we also have the SC, ST, and FC click cleaner right here. So those are the three different types. Now, additionally, if those don't work for what you need, there are other types of cleaners out there on the market. They have uh, what are called cassette cleaners, which look kind of like this here. And you can open up and actually physically clean the connector that way. Along with that is uh, just solution, fiber optic solution and wipes. Now, this is the, the way that you would normally do it with like a bare fiber solution, is you would do it with fiber cleaning solution and wipes. So when it comes to connector cleaning or cleaning a bulkhead connector or cleaning a, a transceiver input, things like that, these click cleaners come in uh, really handy and are very useful. So along with the types of connectors that these click cleaners will clean, they will also clean the different polish types. So we have UPC, APC, and PC type connectors. Now the TI standard doesn't specifically have a standard for fiber optic cleaning, but the international standards body, the IEC does, 61300-3-35 standard. Now it's been redone a couple different times and the most latest standard that we have on that uh, is a little more lenient in terms of on the outer edges of the uh, cleaning portion of the fiber optic end face. But when we look at, and we look about, we talk about the core in the actual cladding of the fiber, very small amounts of microns and the, the, the tiny microns would be not even allowed because that needs to be completely cleaned and cleared out of any type of debris or dirt. Now, some of the things that can actually cause uh, dirt as well is just fingerprints. So if you touch the end face of the fiber, you're going to leave some sort of residue or almost like a solution on there. Your, your finger has oils and those get transferred. Sometimes people like to uh, take these connectors and just try to clean them on the end of their shirt. Trust me, that does not work. And in fact, you're gonna introduce a lot more dirt, debris, perhaps whatever might be on your shirt. So don't do that. Really quickly, we can demonstrate kind of how these uh, function. So on a click cleaner, very simple, very easy. Here we have the LC click cleaner. If we pop off a cap right here, we can actually take the click cleaner, we can insert it right into the end face of the connector, and we can give it a couple good clicks like that, and then we can do an inspection on it to ensure that it's actually clean. One of the things that uh, is so important when it comes to cleaning of fiber optic cables is because we're talking about glass here. So different from copper cable where it's an electrical signal, fiber optics uses light as a, as a way of transmission over this glass. So you can think about it as if you have a dirty windshield, it's kind of hard to see out of that windshield. And in fact, sometimes it could be completely covered with all kinds of debris and things. But it's the same thing with fiber optic cable. If that windshield or that glass is dirty, you're not going to be able to get good signal throughput. So that's why cleaning is just so important. Now we also have what's an MTP MPO click cleaner. Now this is, you'll notice this is a little bit of a bigger uh, cleaner. It's designed for 12 and 24 fiber, multi-fiber connectors like we have here on this single mode MTP. And so this works really nicely. Just like with the LC and SC click cleaners, you can slide the connector in there. You can give it a couple of good clicks. You can now inspect that fiber end face and more than likely that's that's good and clean. Sometimes there's a, a little bit more 
deeper embedded dirt on there and it does require using some solution some fiber optic solution click cleaners may not always get that perfectly but they do a pretty good job here at true cable we offer as mentioned these three different types the mtp mpo cleaner the scst f seed and the lc and mu fiber optic cleaners i can't stress enough how important it is to clean your fiber optic end faces, your connectors, before you install them and plug them into your networking equipment. Now, one thing I will mention, when your connectors and your cables come from the factory, they might be pretty clean already. The factory does do a, a cleaning on those products. So it's good to inspect first. And if the inspection looks clean, don't worry about cleaning them. But if you inspect it and there is dirt, then go ahead and use the clip cleaners or some other solution to clean your fiber optic cables. It's going to create uh, a world of difference in your performance overall of your cabling system. And it's an important, important thing to do. So that's a little bit about what we recommend for cleaning uh, fiber optic cables. If you uh, appreciated and enjoyed this video, leave a comment below if you have any suggestions or things you'd like to comment on about this particular video. And as always, happy networking. Thank you very much for watching the content. Oh, and by the way, are you considering just using any indoor cable outside? Don't do that. Please check out this video here about outdoor cable.